Hello, in this video, I will present the new version of Evo Master 2.0.0. Evo Master is a search based fuzzer aimed at generating JUnit test cases for web APIs like REST. Among the different new features in the new version of Evo Master, there is a support for other APIs like uh, GraphQL and RPC. Plus, of course, more uh, several new improvements on his search engine. We generated high co uh, higher coverage test cases and finding more faults. Evo Masters is available on GitHub, is open source, and it can be downloaded uh, from its uh, releases page. Like for example, here, the new release 2.0.0. Uh, we have different installers for all the main operating systems like uh, Windows, Mac, and Linux. Uh, Evo Master itself is written in Java and Kotlin, so we also release uh, the self-executable jar file. So let's try to execute it. It's a command line application, so we can run it from the command line. And by default, it will just give an error because there is a need of an API up and running. And because we are going to do white box testing that exploit the information of a source code of a API, we need to write a driver. So let's consider an example like, uh, of, for example, the famous API, like uh, the one from Signal. And uh, like, for example, the Signal registration API, which is, uh, for example, available on uh, GitHub as well. So to be able to test an API like this with use a JRPC, uh, we need to write uh, a driver. Drivers are small classes that tells Evo Master how to start, stop, and reset uh, the API that we want to test. Like for example, in this particular case, we need to specify uh, the stub for JRPC that is going to be used to call the API. Then we can start the driver once it is uh, written, which itself we open a server on port 40,100. Then at this point, we can restart Evo Master, but we are going to run it only for a short amount of time, let's say for seconds. And we have, uh, also have to specify where we want to save uh, the generated test cases. So for example, here, let's say that uh, we want to save them in this folder. So we are going to copy the absolute path and you're going to paste it here. And now Evo Master will start and uh, evolve test cases for just 10 seconds. And then what is managed to achieve, what you manage to generate, then it will be saved in uh, that folder. Of course, the longer the FAD there is uh, run, the better results we can expect. But this is just an introductory video that's just running for 10 seconds. We get a few different information, like for example, here there was uh, five uh, endpoints of this RPC API that will be tested. Uh, in these 10 seconds, we were able to make 915 calls, uh, but only, let's see, uh, how many test cases were generated? Only 23 test cases were generated, because only the test cases that uh, help to achieve higher coverage and find faults are kept in the final test suite that is generated at all. So we can look here at the test cases that are generated. In this case, there are two different test suites, or it is a JRPC API. And here, the JUnit test case itself will start the API uh, before uh, any test cases run, and then we will shut them down after all test cases are completed. And in this particular case, this test suite is calling this JRPC API with different inputs and verifying different kinds of exceptions that are thrown in this API. Like, let's see, uh, this one uh, also provides information about in which part of the code of the API exceptions were thrown, like in this particular case. Or, it can also just generate test cases for the normal scenarios in which no exceptions are thrown. Again, there are two objectives. 
to uh, maximize code coverage of API and also finding faults based on different kinds of exceptions that can be thrown. The test cases themselves are can be executed with, uh, automatically because they are res uh, responsible to start and stop the, uh, the API by itself. So for example, here, we can just run them. And uh, let's see. All test cases are compiling and then by default, they are all passing because we are just capturing uh, what is uh, uh, the current behavior of the API. Thank you very much.